celebrating the court's sentencing after flouting Singapore's mask laws, then Dover revealed to the press that it was his, quote, genius plan all along to be deported from Singapore. Speaking with the Mockingbird News team, Dover explained how his intricate acting skills and playing the long con won him a free flight home. Yeah, it wasn't easy trying to become the biggest idiot in Singapore. You know how much work you have to put in to look like the most irresponsible, arrogant white guy around? A lot of people think that I have a bunch of different methods to get the con, to get the free flight back home, but I only have one method, method acting. Yes, I've known Ben for a couple of years now, and recently he asked me to help him film that whole anti-masking routine on the train. That took us quite a few rehearsals. Uh, you know, from things like filming it in portrait, to getting the lighting just right, to making sure it was shaky, but not too shaky, socially irresponsible, but not staged. And in the end, it turned out that Ben was so good at acting like an ignorant person that it helped the video go viral really quickly. Of course I memorized scripts. Are you crazy? Do you know how hard it is to come up with terms like sovereign and kangaroo court and say them seriously? I mean, sometimes I was pretty embarrassed, all right? I mean, how could you just walk out into the community and be such a public nuisance and a danger to the community? Only an idiot would be an anti-masker. But when I think about the Second Amendment, I find the perseverance to carry on. So we almost thought this whole free flight loophole would fail when we realized we had to get a lawyer in court. That would have been even more expensive than the flight itself. But then we came up with this genius idea where I would pretend to be his legal counsel, and I even helped work on a script for that. It's actually a miracle we got this far. While Ben Dover's free flight home seems to be guaranteed for now, others are arguing that he should have to co-pay for his flight. Co-pay? What on God's green flat earth do you mean? What's the point of deporting me if I have to co-pay for my own punishment, huh? Besides, I'm, um, I'm a bit strapped for cash right now, so maybe we can find something a little bit more free. How about caning? Three strokes, huh? No? How about five? Eight strokes. Eight strokes sounds about right. Twelve even? Okay, fifteen strokes. Let's settle on fifteen strokes, right? Come on, please just don't make me pay.